Turn to a clean sheet of paper because we're gonna, I'm going to do a quick review of the copywriting formula. Most of you have seen it before. We're going to go through it quickly. And when we get to actually writing copy, because we're going to write copy as an audience right now, I'm going to slow it down. All right, so the first handful of slides I'm going to go through, I'm going to go through fairly quickly because most of you have seen it before. If you're like, well, Jeff, I'm a first timer. I didn't go to a tour stop. I haven't seen this before. Take a picture of the screen. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll explain each one. There's a little bit of words on, on each of these. So let's first do a quick review on what we mean by getting people to stop their scroll. And that is step one, always start with a hook. And a hook is the most important piece of the formula. It's designed to stop them from scrolling. It's designed to catch their attention. It's designed to, instead of saying, oh, here's another boring real estate agent video to say, what she got to say today? What is he talking about now? Because you're always opening with something a little edgy, something that, that is a little like, yeah, whoa, okay, how'd you come up with that? Huh, I want to know more about that. Versus what do most people do when they start social media videos, whether it's Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, whatever. You st most agents are still starting off by introducing themselves. Stop doing that. That is, that, is, that is step two, not step one. Hi, I'm so and so, and let me tell you about my new listing on da 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 da. No. Have you ever thought about living on, on luxury lakefront here in Brighton, Michigan? Hi, I'm Terry Fenelon. Uh, all right? Intro comes after. Yes, I've thought about that. What's going on? How could I do that? Stop introducing yourselves to start, all right? Step two, you get, then you go into the introduction. And the introduction is important in video, but not when you're writing copy, all right? So let me just be clear. Copy is, is what you say, whether it's in video, or what you post. The words in your post are what I'm referring to when I say copy. So copy is either the words that you write, also known as a script, that you follow, or it's the words that you write that you say. So it's the words that go with your post, or it's the words that you say. You always introduce yourself second. Step three is supporting info. In other words, I gotta come back to the hook. I, gotta, I can't leave them hanging. I can't say, um, hey, did you know next week is National Margarita Day? Hi, I'm Realtor Jeff Glover, and the interest rates just dropped another point. Now's the time to reach out to me. That doesn't support Margarita Day. I got to match it. So instead, if I'm going to use something with the interest rates, I might say, oh my gosh, did you hear interest rates were 8% last month? Who'd want to buy right now? Hi, I'm Realtor Jeff Glover, and actually one of the best benefits of buying right now is there's less buyers out shopping, so you have less competitions. So you have to support the hook. You always got to go back to the hook. That's step three. Step four, all right, you, you made your claim. Step three is like your claim. Now I need an example. Back up your claim. Step four is the example. You just told me, that I should buy now or I should sell now. You just told me that I should work with you or I should do this. Now, convince me. In other words, step four is, is kind of answering like, it almost answers the question, and this is for a whole other discussion, and I know Greg covers it in his course. It answers the question, who else? Because by the way, marketing 101, there's a few questions you want to answer. Uh, why me? Will it work for me? One of the questions is, who else is succeeding with it? Okay, you heard some of those questions, by the way, out of Damon yesterday. Who else, is, who else is winning with it? Who else? All right, I know you're supposed to say good things about the market. I know you're supposed to good, say good things about buying or selling right now. But who else is feeling this way? That's what step four does. It gives me an example or a testimonial to back up. It's social proof. Back up your claim. And then step five, you always finish with a call to action. Step five is your call to action. Step five is your call to action, which is, what do you want me to do now? Answer the question, where do I go from here? What do I do next? So, for results like those, give me a call today, at. So, if you'd like to experience that, comment below. So, if you'd like to take advantage of blank, message me here. Now, if I can give you a recommendation, your videos are going to be 
uh, across multiple channels. Because what I've been teaching for years, if you use Facebook Live, let's just say, you can download that video and you can repurpose it on YouTube, you can repurpose it on Instagram, you can turn it into shorts, you can turn it into a reel, you can turn it into stories. There's so much you can do with a couple minutes of a video. And so because of that, I want you to be careful with your language of uh, like DM me. Because if, that's your, if your video is on YouTube, for instance, how am I going to DM you? Where's Greg at? Greg Erlinger, are you still around? Okay, maybe you guys can help me. Can you DM through, I mean, this is a true, I don't know the answer to this. Can you DM someone through YouTube? I didn't think so. By the way, there might be a day that you can. It's probably, if, if they want to be the largest social media platform, I bet you can. I bet there will be a day that you can. That makes a lot of sense. It's going to be a communication platform. I bet. Yep. So, so watch. Since I can't DM you on YouTube, if I'm watching a video on YouTube and you say DM me because you did this video on Instagram, well, I can't, I can't DM you because I don't know. Now, if you want to say, check out my information below because that works across platforms. If you want to say, call me because call me at... Now, by the way, whenever, whenever you give instructions, here's a quick tip, and I know Greg would agree with this, always put it in the, in the um, that's not called the memo, whatever it is, you have the title and like the subtitle, always put it in the, the um, what's it called? Caption. The caption, yes, the caption, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. You have the title, the subtitle, the captions, right? Um, and and, and have, that infor have your information always in the captions. So now what we're gonna do, you've got the formula in front of you, we're gonna write a script out together. And I've got a script, so I'm going to make your life easier. All right, I got a script. So draw a line or turn to a clean sheet, whatever. We're going to write this out together. So we're going to start with the hook. If you want to write step one hook, because you are absolutely going to walk out of here knowing how to do this, because every time I see a video from you on social media, it's going to follow this formula. It's proven. By the way, I didn't come up with this. This, this formula has been around for decades. Ad agencies have been using this for years. Once you learn this, you can't like unsee it. You're going to hear ads on the radio and you'll say, yeah, that's the copywriting formula. You're going to see a TV commercial. Oh, that, hey, they're using the copywriting formula. I didn't create it. I just updated it for realtors. I just kind of edited it specifically for real estate agents. And I've been using it in my TV and radio ads for probably since 2012, 2013. And then, of course, now we've updated it for social media. So here we go, write down step one, always start with the hook. I'm going to give you one right now. This is one you can go out this afternoon, out on the break you can do it. You can do it from, from your hotel room. You can do it when you get home. Hook, hook, step one hook, ready? I bet ya, I bet ya thought right now was not a great time to list a home. I bet ya thought right now was not a great time to list a home, question mark. I bet you thought right now was not a great time to list a home, question mark, dot, dot, dot. I mean, who would want to move in the middle of January, question mark. I bet you thought right now was not a great time to list a home, question mark. I mean, who would want to move in the middle of January? Now, that's actually two hooks. I'll, I'll do that sometime. To, to emphasize, to like drive it home. I, I do that to get them to say, yeah, you're right. Who's really, like, who's moving right now? You're, you're dead right. Who would want to move in the middle of January? I bet you thought right now was not a great time to list a home. I mean, who'd want to move in the middle of January? That's step one. Step two, hi, I'm, and then write your first name and your last name. Hi, I'm, first name, last name, and you might want to say a realtor with or a real estate agent with I don't care, you know, titles. I don't care about... Now, I will tell you for myself personally, especially for those of you from Michigan, particularly Detroit, you know, hi, I'm Realtor Jeff Glover. Hi, I'm Realtor Jeff Glover. I've been using that for over 10 years in everything I do. Hi, I'm Realtor Jeff Glover. Now, if you want to put Realtor in front of your name or after your name, or you want to say, hi, I'm so-and-so, real estate agent with, I don't care how you structure your title. You don't even have to put your title in there at all. Now, I, I think it would be smart for you to put your title in there because you want to get to a point... And, you know, for those of you in, in Michigan, you're probably not surprised. And I know a lot of our team, you know, who've been around me in kind of social situations, they hear this all the time. Oh, that's that realtor Jeff Glover guy. That's that realtor Jeff Glover guy. People refer to me that all the time. Now, they're not thinking realtor Jeff Glover guy because they're thinking real estate agent. They're thinking realtor Jeff Glover because it's almost like it's my name. 
I have, I have two first names, Realtor Jeff, last name Glover. And, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay if the consumers refer to me as that. And I think it would be okay if they refer to you as that as well. Don't you guys agree? Say yes. Right, they should all refer to you as Realtor Jeff Glover, I agree. <laughs> Step three, supporting information. Supporting information, so here we go. Here's the supporting information. Right now is actually, right now is actually one of the best. And I want you to underline best. Right now is actually one of the best times to get your home on the market, comma. Right now is actually one of the best, emphasize best, times to get your home on the market because you have almost no competition. Because you have almost no competition. Right now is actually one of the best times to get your home on the market because you have almost no competition. And I don't have to tell you, here's a little NLP for those of you NLP masters out there. And I don't have to tell you about supply and demand. Right now is actually one of the best times to get your home on the market because you have almost no competition. And I don't have to tell you about the supply and demand, comma. And I don't have to tell you about supply and demand, comma. You already know less competition means more money in your pocket. You already know less competition means more money in your pocket. Right now is actually one of the best times to get your home on the market because you have almost no competition. And I don't have to tell you about supply and demand. You already know. By the way, I don't have to tell you, and you already know. I said NLP. Neuro-linguistic programming, it's like advanced. You know, our one-on-one -on -one clients are probably somewhat familiar with this, or if you've been through some of our programs. By saying, I don't have to tell you, and you already know, the brain is automatically agreeing. It actually just naturally causes the brain to say, yeah, you're right. I already know that. Yeah, you're right. I already know that. So I want them thinking yes in their mind as I'm delivering this. I don't have to tell you about supply and demand. You already know. Less competition means more money in your pocket. There's my supporting info. That's step three. Step four, ready? For example, by the way, remember I said spend 30 minutes in the morning writing content, writing copy? This is what I'm talking about. You can spend 30 minutes a day coming up with one of these. And it'll take you about that. It'll take you 15 to 30 minutes. You'll get really good, and you'll be able to do this in 7 to 10. I wrote this literally backstage. It took me about three minutes. Why does it take me three minutes? Because I'm doing it day in and day out. For example, I just sold a home over on Blank Street. So for example, now i got to back up what I said. You can't just tell me right now is one of the best times to sell without giving me something to drive it home, something to confirm that this is true. Social proof. For example, I just sold a home over on Blank Street, comma. For example, I just sold a home over on Blank Street, comma. We had 13 showings. I just sold a home over on Blank Street, comma. We had 13 showings, three offers. And it sold for over the asking price. Dot, dot, dot. And it sold for over the asking price. Dot, dot, dot. Yes, even in this new market. And it still sold for over the asking price. Dot, dot, dot. Yes even in this new market. Can you believe it? Yes, even in this new market. So now I'm like, okay, I'm bought in. You just gave me an example. All right, well, that's cool. I thought the market was dead. I mean, it's the middle of winter. Who's selling right now? Holy smokes. This is good stuff. Now, what's our final step? Final step five is what? 
Call to action. Call to action. Ready? So if you're looking to get top dollar, comma, so if you're looking to get top dollar, comma, then I would call me. And if you want to put message, actually I wrote message, so if you want to put call and maybe put message in parentheses, that's fine. If you're looking to get top, top, top dollar, then I would call or put in parentheses message right now so I can show you how to capitalize so I can show you how to capitalize on this unique opportunity so I can show you how to capitalize on this unique opportunity to sell your home so I can show you how to capitalize on this unique opportunity to sell your home before everyone else does this spring. So I can show you how to capitalize on this unique opportunity to sell your home before everyone else does this spring. That is what writing copy feels like. By the way, my recommendation, you do this once a day. I already gave you the schedule. I already showed you where to put it in. Now, you're not going to use every day because maybe you're only doing one video per week or you know, maybe three posts a week. Or maybe you are going to do a video every single day. I know some of you in here are like, yeah, I do a video every day anyways. This is easy. You're going to write one every single day no matter what. Some of them you're going to like. Some of them you're going to love, and some of them you're going to hate. And you're not going to use the ones you don't like. And that's okay. It's all part of the process. But when I think about writing copy and getting good at video, I know, and you just heard it from the man himself, the most important piece is how well you communicate your message. We've heard that over and over, time and time again, from keynotes to you name it. So if I want to get really good at this, in addition to writing it every day, how do we learn a script? We write, and then we... Pauly was the only one that answered it. We write, and then we... We chant. Because that's how you become a great communicator. So what I want everyone to do right now, you can leave your piece of paper on the desk because... Can we get that up on the screen, the script? It was just there. Sorry. Can we get that up on the screen? Okay, we can leave that there. It's there for you. You're like, are you kidding me? I could have just taken a picture of that. <laughs> I knew it was there. I saw it the whole time. You got to get good at writing. Otherwise, taking pictures isn't going to do anything. Now, you can still take a picture of it, but you just wrote it. So, Jay, what are you doing? You already have it, my friend. You won the Grit Award. We don't take the lazy way out, my friend. I know you wrote it. Okay. So, we write. We chant, and then we normally role play. I'm going to teach you a new version of role play in just a second. But before we get to role play, I want everyone to stand up. And with a ton of energy and enthusiasm, if we can get that script back up there, please. In high energy, high enthusiasm, in unison, we are going to chant this copy nice and loud. Now, if you're in a spot where oh, I can't really see the screen that good, Jeff, pick up your workbook. You just wrote it out. Or if you're in the back, you can't see the screen, use your workbook. So on the count of three, I'm going to do it with you. I'm going to say one, two, three, ready, go. And you're going to go right into, I bet you thought right now was not a great time to list a home. I mean, who would want to move in the middle of January? Pause. Hi, I'm, and then say your name. Right now is actually, so in other words, every time you see a new paragraph, right? So you see step one, you see step two, you see step three, you see step four, and you see step five. They're basically in those paragraphs. Every time you go to a new paragraph, there's just a brief one-second pause. 
All right, so with a ton of energy and enthusiasm, by the way, for those of you who've been through in-person sales rocket, you know that I'm known to let you get almost all the way to the bottom, and then I say, okay, start over, because the energy and enthusiasm wasn't that great. So let's keep it high, otherwise I'm going to do that to you. Ready? With a ton of Phoenix energy and enthusiasm. Ready? One, two, three, go. I bet you thought right now was not a great time to list a home. I mean, who would want to move in the middle of January? Hi, I'm Realtor Jeff Glover. Right now is actually one of the best times to get your home on the market. All right, hold on, hold on. Start over. Let me give you some better instructions. All right, practice Realtor, real estate agent. You all got into like your company names and team names and all that. Just, hi, I'm first name, last name. Okay, then that'll keep us on pace. Okay? First name, last name, pause right now. All right, so let's try this again with a ton of energy and enthusiasm. Ready? One, two, three, go. I bet you thought right now was not a great time to list a home. I mean, who would want to move in the middle of January? Hi, I'm Jeff Glover. Right now is actually one of the best times to get your home on the market because you have almost no competition. And I don't have to tell you about supply and demand. You already know that less competition could mean more money in your pocket. For example, I just sold a home over on Blank Street. We had 13 showings, three offers, and it sold for over the asking price. Yes, even in this new market. If you're looking to get top dollar, then I would message me right now so I can show you how to capitalize on this unique opportunity to sell your home before everyone else does this spring. All right, give yourself a round of applause. Nice job. Okay, hold on. Stay standing. Now, stay standing, okay? Here's how we learn to be experts at speaking and writing good copy. We write, we chant, and now watch. Take out your cell phones. Stay standing. Take out your cell phones. Okay? Open up your camera. Flip it to video. Put it on selfie mode. This is what you're gonna do to get good. This is what each day should look like. Because when you're in a real setting, you have an opportunity to correct some of your language. You could create a few of these before you launch one. So, hold on, one, two, three, shh. Everyone's got their, their phone on here? You got it on selfie mode? You, and you have it on video? Okay. Don't forget to clean the makeup filter, as Terry says. Okay, so let's clean the cameras. All right, everyone do a little bit of this. Every time you take a photo or do a video, seriously, you should do this, you know, front, back, whatever. And we're gonna go through and do the exact same thing. We're gonna get the script back up on the screen. Now, if you would prefer to hold your notes in front of you and do it, I'm fine with that, okay? So if you wanna hold up your notebook and do it like this and just read your notes, I'm fine with that. If it's easier for you to hold it up and look at the screen, that works too. So whatever one works for you. This is how, just like you, just how we practiced and got good at the listing presentation or the buyer consultation, this is how you get good at video and writing copy. All right, so on the count of three, you're going to hit record. You're actually recording yourself. All right, and I'm going to recommend that when you get home, you show your spouse, significant other, whoever, and say, hey, look what we did today, honey. <laughs> All right, everyone's got their phone in position. You got your workbook either held up next to it or you're looking at the screen, all right? Now, don't worry about making perfect eye contact with the camera. This is just practice. But I want to get you in the mode and in the, in, in the groove of doing this because this is how it's going to feel when you do this every day. So on the count of three, just like we did, remember first name, last name for name, everything picked up perfectly in unison with a ton of energy and enthusiasm, selfie cameras out on video. You're gonna hit record, ready, one, two, three, go. I bet you thought right now is not a great time to list a home. I mean, who would wanna move in the middle of January? Hi, I'm Jeff Glover. 
Right now is actually one of the best times to get your home on the market. Yes, even in this new market. If you're looking to get top dollar, then I would message me right away now so I can help show you how to capitalize on this unique opportunity to sell your home before everyone else does this spring. All right, give yourselves a round of applause. Nice job, guys. Nice job, nice job, nice job, nice job, nice job. Okay. All right, you can sit down, you can sit down. Okay. All right. One, two, three, shh. Now, do I have an agreement from you that the next time I see you posting a video on social media, you're gonna follow that formula? Say yes. Moving forward, I'm promising you it will help your engagement, it will help your likes, your comments, your interactions, which will lead to more opportunities. Not only that, but when consumers are doing their research on you and checking you out, now you're gonna be in a position to where they say, this guy is good, this gal, holy smokes, she's like really good, I mean, she's like a news reporter good, this is really good. Because you're following a method that is proven you're following a technique that has been around for decades, by the way. We just updated it for real estate agents, specifically as it relates to social media. Now, here's the good news. When you're actually writing copy, you do essentially everything the same in terms of if you're putting a post out there with a photo. Everything we just wrote is exactly the same except you remove your, the introduction. All right, so I want to be real clear on that. Because some of you are in there, you're like, Jeff, you know, I'm not really comfortable with video yet, and I, I do want to ease into it and so forth. I mean, you guys have heard me say this, and, and I'll repeat it again. Uh, I am convinced that 18 months from now, if, you, if your idea of being a strong agent on social media is still posting Canva images, you're going to get left behind. Because the best of the best know that it's either video or raw and real photos, raw images, just like we talked about yesterday with Alana. So if you're posting a photo, because not every day has to be a video, you know my recommendation, by the way. The recommendation, especially for those of you that were on tour, my recommendation is one video per week, but I still want one post a day. So watch, if you didn't already know this, write this one down. Everyone in this room in 2024 should be doing one video per week. Because whether it generates an immediate lead for you or not, consumers are gonna see it. And just like Greg said, Google owns YouTube. So since we already know they're gonna be Googling your first name, your last name, your company, guess what's gonna be the first stuff to show up? YouTube videos of yours. Consumers click on them. I like her personality, I like his style. I like the way he carries himself. I like the way he presents. We gotta call this guy, we gotta call this gal. It's my mission at Glover U to put you in a position to knock out your competition and this is one absolute way you can do that. Because while they're still posting Canva images and just sold for 187% of the asking price in 32 seconds, you know, that all fall, you know, nobody, nobody buys into that anymore. Words, phrases, dot coms, once you start putting all this stuff on photos, it hurts your engagement. So let's commit to real videos like we just did, a selfie video. By the way, selfie videos, generally speaking, are always going to do better than a professionally recorded video. Right, so just when you're thinking, ah, phone, this, that, and the other, no, I, I need to hire a company to help, to help me do this. No, you hire a company to help you administer it. But the actual taking the video, that's you. You're gonna get better engagement, selfie videos always.